Hello, dear students and friends. I am J.S. Gill. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Learn Squared. I am very happy to announce that one of my students has got AAR-157 in mechanical and AAR-76 and in gate XC. He is Anurag. Anurag, welcome to this top of stock. Thank you, sir, for having me here. Uh, please tell us something about yourself and your journey uh, of reaching here at uh, AIR-157. Uh, sir, this journey began in 2018 uh, from where I started my uh, preparation for the gate examination. Uh, my first attempt uh, I gave in my final year of BTEC. I am uh, uh, I've graduated from MIT College of Engineering Pune uh, in 2019. So I, I wrote my first gate examination in 2019. Uh, at that time, <clears throat> my All India rank was 3,300. Uh, so I was not much satisfied with that rank. So I decided to uh, prepare for six months after I pass out uh, uh, wholeheartedly. So uh, after uh, I passed out uh, from the college, uh, I dedicatedly prepared uh, for six months, uh, 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 not only for GATE, but also for engineering services. Uh, those six months were very crucial. I had uh, not used any social media and anything. I also used a small cell phone, not the Android one. Uh, so I think that that preparation was very important. But still, uh, 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 there was a bit of pressure on me uh, during GATE 2020 because uh, there was not, not a backup plan with me. And due to this pressure, I couldn't uh, uh, excel in that examination. So my all India rank came out to be 1148 in gate 2020. So it was not bad, but not also very good according to my preparation. Uh, so on that gate score, I got admitted into IIT Delhi for a MTech program. Uh, so my MTech was going on uh, and side by side, I also cleared uh, ISRO BAC examinations. My uh, preparation was going on. So I thought that I should write the examination of gate once again, and just to brush up my concepts. There was not much um, uh, <clears throat> intention of uh, having uh, achieving out of it something, uh, but there was preparation. So I wrote the gate examination once again. And this time the major impact was that uh, I was not in pressure at all. There was a win-win situation for me. That even if the gate was going to go wrong, I was doing MTech in one of the prestigious institutions. So there was not pressure. And I also didn't prepare much for the examination, but uh, the last year's preparation bear fruits this time. And I, I scored a good rank this year in both gate XC and gate mechanical. Great, great. So, uh, can you point out some mistakes which uh, you was doing earlier, which you have not done this year, so that you was able to get that one fifty seven? Uh, sir, mistakes as such. Uh, uh, in the first attempt, uh, I had, I had completed all my syllabus uh, rigorously, but I, I I was not able to give as many as tests. So in the second attempt, I almost gave one, 150 plus test series, including full length and subject wise. Uh, so it helped me a lot. Uh, but in the main examination, I did one small mistake that I studied at the uh, point till I had to enter into the gate examination hall. I was studying at that point. So my brain got exhausted before the examination. And that was the main drawback that I couldn't utilize my uh, potential to the fullest in my second attempt. So this time I, I deliberately, I stopped studying one day before the gate, gate examination. I just chilled out and I went to the gate examination. I didn't revise anything one day before. And uh, I gave the examination without any pressure. And I also meditated a lot during my third attempt because I, I knew that I had the potential, but I was not able to handle my anxiety uh, during the three hours. So that was a very important thing to avoid silly mistakes. So I did meditation uh, and that helped me, sir. Okay. okay. So you got uh, AER, I think 71 or 76 in gate yes. what was your what was the subject you have opted for uh, sir i chose uh, solid mechanics and fluid mechanics okay sir. 
so how you prepared this uh, especially in gate xc math was a very important part so how you prepared mathematics part uh, sir uh, mathematics part was basically the same uh, th there was a slight uh, bit higher level but uh, uh, the questions uh, almost like 80% questions were from the mechanical domain only so we could uh, easily attempt them the main uh, thing in the XC paper was that uh, there were choices we have to select and we were given the liberty to uh, go through all the papers. So uh, I had a confidence in three subjects like uh, solid mechanics, fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. So I went through uh, solid mechanics. I found it easy. So I solved it the first. Then I had to choose between fluid mechanics and thermo uh, thermodynamics. So I went through thermodynamics. But the length of the questions I found was very large. And uh, uh, though the questions were uh, easy, I thought that it would take time to solve them. So I went for fluid mechanics and that was a good decision because one of my friends went for thermodynamics and he said that the level was pretty hard for thermodynamics and uh, it, he couldn't complete the paper on time. Okay. So any message you would like to give to future aspirants? Uh, yes, uh, uh, revise the subjects at least three, four times and give as many as tests possible so that you have a good command and use the calculator very wisely. Uh, and also uh, keep the, uh, that uh, we, we say that keep your concept strong and also uh, try to remember the formulas as much as you can because in the three hours there is not time to derive anything you just have to be on your toes and uh, use the formulas and find out the answer if even if anybody says that this is not the right way but i found it right for me because i i learned all the formulas okay thank you anurag for joining us thank you very much and all the best for Thank your you, future. Sir.